Hello YouTube, welcome to my channel. My name is Luis and today I will be up upgrading the hard disk drive from this old laptop. So as you can see this is a really old laptop. Um, it used to run Windows XP and it was my first laptop. As you can see I have Linux Mint installed and it takes more than two minutes to be able to operate with the original hard drive mechanical EDE hard drive so the goal is to, to it's to install a, a compatible solid state drive and as you can see if you want to purchase a solid uh, state drive for this kind of connection 44 pin EDE it costs a lot so instead of buying one of these I will show you an adapter that you can also order from Aliexpress it, it's really cheap it's about it's less than five dollars and this is the performance of this solid state drive as you can see it's not as fast as a SATA normal SSD I think the bottleneck it's related to the technology of the 44 pin ED okay so this is the solid st state drive that I will be putting in uh, uh, this one I got it from Amazon and it was about 20 or less than 30 euros and it is a M SATA small factor okay so I purchased uh, the, the one that was cheaper because this was a test uh, I'm, I have not been using this laptop because I, I don't want to wait so many time for a, a computer to respond so I bought that from Amazon really cheap 128 gigs and this is the adapter that I, I purchased from Aliexpress and this was about 4 euros plus shipping it's more one euro more something like that and as you can see it has the 44 pin and a slot for a M2 SSD okay so this is a normal SATA SSD Here another one just for you to see the type of connection and this is the adapter really close and now we are going to install the MSATA SSD small factor okay so small factor it means it's small compared to the ones with the bigger ones with the double size okay so this one go in inverted okay now we need to secure with the two screws screwdrivers Okay, so if you have a magnetic screwdriver, it will be better. Okay, and the second one. Okay, so I recommend if you have a laptop, everyone that has a laptop with a mechanical hard disk drive, please upgrade to solid state drive. You will be 
improving the performance of your laptop a lot. Uh, if your laptop takes one of those SSDs uh, SATA, the performance will be 10 or 12 faster times, okay? Times faster. So we are ready to install the 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 adapter with the, the SSD. So I also have a caddy on this machine. I made a video about it, and as you can see, also the connection here is different. So if I want just to use one of those SSDs, if I have a caddy, I just need to replace the hard drive with the SSD. But I want to do it directly, so that is why I'm using this adapter to connect where it takes the normal hard disk drive. So this is how we take it off. And as you can see, it's really different. You can see the, the 44 pins and the adapter with the same pins, okay? So now closer for you to see how to remove the hard drive. It's not complicated, okay? This is how the adapter will be mounted. Okay, so to remove the hard drive, just pull. Okay, this one you can keep and get a, an external case and use it as a external hard disk USB. Okay, as you can see, now let's put the disk okay it's secure so i don't need to put some plastic or tape to secure it because it's really it's secure it's not gonna come out so just put the, the screws again and we are ready now i need to install linux again i will be installing the same operating system but first we have to go to the bios and check if the disk is detected so if the adapter is working we can now check in the bios if it is detected and yes it is detected as you can see 128 gigs on EDE 0 so I will be burning or flashing Linux Mint in other computer I have videos on my channel showing how to flash a Linux pen drive so this is another adapter that I will I want to show you so this one I purchased also from Aliexpress and with this one you can put two SSDs one M2 normal size and this one shorter the M2 small small factor and you can use two SSDs at once so uh, imagine you have one with one 100 gigs and another one with 200 you will have one disk of 300 gigabytes okay so if you have two spare SSDs laying around you can use this adapter and use it on your tower computer on your laptop so whatever you have a SAT connection you can use it or here inside the caddy I can also use it but I will not do it because uh, the bottleneck of the the speed of the SSD will not be the best one so I will be keeping that adapter for my other laptop okay so now we are ready to install Linux so uh, I'm changing the ba the boot order to boot from the pen drive and restarting it will boot from the pen drive 
so we are ready to install Linux I will not show the whole operation of installing Linux so this will erase the the SSD uh, I need to select a username and after that it will install all the files and after installation I will do the same with my mobile phone counting from the, so we have to beat 2 minutes and 40 seconds so it takes until 35 seconds until we put our username and 52 seconds until computer is ready to be used so for me the money I spent I think it it worth it so this was a computer that, that I was I'm no, I was not using and now I will be using because with Linux I can do a lot of stuff with this laptop and this was my lap the, my first laptop so I, it was really bad I, I had it away and now I can use it again so this is a benchmark for the SSD and as you can see it's not so fast as a normal SATA SSD is but it's really faster than the mechanical hard drive so for me it was really good to do this I hope you like the video if you do please leave it a thumbs up and consider to subscribe my channel catch you on a new video thank you very much bye bye